All right, let's take a look at what it looks like to create a question. I'm gonna choose the most common one, multiple choice. I wanna show you first right away what the general layout for most Schoology type questions are. Usually it starts at the very, type with the, the very top with the question set up. All questions need to have a question to be able to set up. Next, if it's applicable, there's the correct answer set up. Some questions like short answers or essays don't have correct answers, so you wouldn't see this section there. Finally, you'd see more advanced settings near the bottom, and those are question specific, followed by author notes and then learning the learning objectives button. Let's go ahead and fill in a question and kind of see how things are laid out. So here I have a question. We could add more options or remove some options if we don't like them. I love the ability to be able to preview a question so we can see what it looks like for a student. Down here, we can choose the type of question or the, the, the answer. Now, these are populated by these options up here. So down here, I'm going to go ahead and choose the correct answer. I'm also going to choose shuffle options. I think it's a great way to curb cheating in students. Uh, that way, all their answers are shuffled, and they look different than other students that might be near them. Now, if multiple responses are required, you click, click this button, and that allows them to choose multiple answers, and there'd be you'd have to choose which answers are correct there as well. Another option besides multiple responses, you can also do alternative responses. Let's say there's a question or this question has another answer that, that could technically be somewhat correct, but not as correct as you want it to be. For example, this one, if they were to choose that, I do want to give them some points, but not all the points, so I'll make it worth only about 50% of this actual test or test question. The bottom here you see we have a little bit more advanced options. We can change what the question looks like. This is specifically for multiple choice questions. I kind of like the block layout. Let's look at a different type of question, the fill in the blank drop down menu. Things are the same, question setup, correct answer setup. But down here there's an additional setup option specifically for fill in the blank drop downs. Here, this one's specifically saying, what do we put in this blank area? Well, I want students to be able to choose one answer in this drop-down menu. So I'm going to write that alternative or the drop-down placeholder text there that they can choose and choose the correct answer up here. Finally, at the bottom of all the questions are these are author notes. This is not viewable by the students. This is just viewable by, by the owners of the test and those who can collaborate between them. Author notes are a great, great way to write something about the test, the specific question anyways, uh, so you can come back later and view some notes about it. Another thing you can tag is a learning objective. You can either come and tag some of this Minnesota state standards and tag this question with those standards, or you can even tag some of your own personalized standards that you've made.